So we have, um, <sighs> there's a lot of dumb people on YouTube. I'm sorry to say it, but there really are. Look, you've got creationists who go around saying, you know, the earth was made in, you know, six days. Now, if someone, want, one of those wants to go, that's their belief, fine. But I take issue when they say that this should be taught in schools as an actual scientific subject. That's where I take issue. There are other people who believe that flat, the Earth is flat, and that you know that you know the globe that we live on is not a globe. It is just this flat plane of existence. And you may remember a couple of uh, I think it was last month or very recently we covered a historian who was very very worried that the far right we're going to start, shall we say, meddling with history. And I didn't know this was done at the time, but I think this is a perfect example. So this uh, guy's called Razor Fist, and I'm sorry, but this guy's completely dumb. If you want to see uh, just how dumb this guy is, go watch his debate with Kyle Kalinske on The Drunken Peasants. He gets ripped to shreds. And the video we're talking about today is he made a, a, a hit a video saying that the reason World War I started had nothing to do with nationalism. That is what he said in his video. He said, cause of World War I was not nationalism. Instead, he gets into this his, his head that for some reason... <laughs> And we'll get, we'll get into his response here, but if you want to go watch the video, I'm not going to link to it, but if you want to go watch it, by all means, it's on his channel, you know, go watch it, but I will not link to that guy's channel. If you really want to go and learn about World War One history, then I highly recommend the Great War channel. It's run by a guy called Indy Nidell. It's great. It's a great channel. Go, go watch that instead, please. But if you really must... By all means, go, you know, watch Razor Fist channel and watch that absolute dumb, dumb video. Because here's what he said. He literally goes and says that nationalism wasn't a cause of World War I. Now, if you know anything, anything about World War I, you know that there was no one specific cause. It was multiple because the conflict was you know, brewing for a long time. You know, Europe was described as a powder keg with literally a match waiting to light the fuse. And there were several times in 1913 and even 1901, and 1908 even, where the war could have erupted then, it just didn't. It was narrowly avoided. But unfortunately, 1914 was when it happened. Now, this guy goes on to say, that nationalism wasn't around prior to World War I, and that it had nothing to do with the causes of World War I, except Gabriel Princip, the guy who shot Archduke Franz Ferdinand, was motivated by pan-Slavic nationalism. There is not a single historian out there who will disagree with me on that. Not only that, you've got to look at what was going on in Germany, the UK, France. You know, there was nationalism at play in these countries before the war. You know, trying to be, you know, build up jingoism and, you know, trying to go forward and start a war. Because they believed that their country would ruffle stomp um, the other country easy, which played into the myth that was so often parroted in the early days of the war that it would be over by Christmas. And yet this guy, um, you know, Razor Fist, claims that nationalism didn't exist and that it came from, wait for it, it came from the book all quiet on the Western Front. <laughs> there is not a single historian 
out there who would disagree, who would, who would, dis would agree with his assertion that that nationalism wasn't a cause of World War One, so and you know this is just so dumb. But in history, you have to cite sources. Sources are important. At no point does he cite any sources to give credence to his theory in in this video. So first of all, you don't need to. So I decided to leave a little comment on his video. And lo and behold, Razor Fist responded. So, I went, if nationalism did not cause World War I, why does every major history expert disagree with you? His response, for the same reason every major historical e expert conflates McCarthyism with the House Un-American Activities Committee, even though the uh, uh, UCHLA uh, was in the 40s, McCarthy wasn't even elected until the 1953. Not to mention McCarthy was a senator and could not participate in a House hearing. So, I've, I, you know, this is, this is, <laughs> that's a dumb way to conflate this. You know, Napoleonic tactics go back to about the 1600s, but Napoleon is so synonymous with that period his name pretty much gets attached to those uh, tactics and those ideas of performing battle. Sometimes someone can have such a major impact on a historical or historical ideas that their name can be forever attached. So McCarthyism being referred to in that type of sense, yeah, I can get the same uh, same vibe as Napoleonic tactics, even though they go pretty much all the way back to like the 1600s, because you know firing in a line became the predominant way that people fought. Um, you know, that's not a good argument. <laughs> that doesn't prove his point at all. He then goes on to say this because academia is overwhelmingly leftist. <laughs> right, okay. And has blatant and deliberately whitewashed their socialistic failures from the past to justify their continued implementation in the future. <laughs> what? What? Um... <laughs> um... I, I just, when I first read that, I generally didn't know how to respond to it. What, what is leftist about saying that nationalism was a cause of World War I? Nothing, because it's true. This guy is trying to rewrite history. In fact, let's, let's just replace a word, shall we say, and just see how dumb this guy is. Because academia is overwhelmingly uh, right-wing, it has blatantly and deliberately whitewashed their conservative values and failure to and a failure to commit them uh, from the past to justify the continued implementation in the future. All I have to do is change one word and it makes no fucking sense. So I responded to you do realize you're coming across like a creationist when confronted with the fossil record. No historian agrees with you. He then replies, bear in mind what I've said in this video, that the causes of World War I are multiple, you know, it doesn't happen, there is no one single cause, but there are lots of contributing factors. That is how complicated it is. Remember, it's known as, especially the start, as the seminal tragedy. Those first couple of weeks before the war was announced, that's what that period is called. So he replies, 15 minutes on Google will tell you you are wrong. So what did his 15 minutes of Google respond to? History on the net, a website run by actual historians, lists 
the largest reason for World War I as alliances. The very same reason I put forward. So, here's the thing. Razor Fist wants in his video basically goes on to say, and I can't believe he's actually said this because there is no comparison at all, he compares the web of alliances that crisscrossed Europe at the time, known as the Concert of Europe, to being the EU. Yeah. Uh, first of all, none of these alliances were in any way economic. If they were, that removes one of the reasons that Germany went to war, which was to break the colonial monopoly of France and Great Britain. France and Great Britain had been denying Germany um, resources from the colony, such as rubber and oil. Again, a contributing factor. So, bear in mind, so he feels justified that because there is at least like a list, and they've listed it as, oh, first, congratulations. But any historian will tell you, you have to look big picture. And anyone, and especially experts in World War I, will tell you that there was no one cause for the war starting. It was multiple. Hence why I keep on saying there are multiple contributing factors to the start of World War I. Now, this guy says that nationalism wasn't one. So, and then, and then, as if my, by magic, he then goes, they listed nationalism as number three. Wait, in your video, you made the claim nationalism was not a cause of World War I and that it only um, appeared after as a cause for the war. Well, arguably, you could say that all the causes for World War I happened after, but that's, that's bit playing semantics there. But, you know, you can't say this. Cite a website with causes for World War I, one of which actual historians, who you seem to agree with, are saying that nationalism was one of the causes, and then say in your video that nationalism wasn't a cause. So which one is it? So they listed nationalism as number three, behind both alliances and imperialism. So it was a cause then. And then he goes on to say this, I never denied nationalism was a cause. I denied it was the cause. That is revisionist left-wing horseshit. Let's have a look at what the name of his video was. His name of the video that he made was No, Nationalism Did Not Cause World War I. You have cited actual historians who you agree with, so I'm presuming that they are not left-wing, who are citing multiple causes for the start of World War I. Congratulations, you said alliances. But you are missing out, as you've said, nationalism, uh, you, you say they go alliances, imperialism and nationalism. Nationalism was an absolute contributing factor to the start of World War I. You are a complete idiot. So, it then goes on to say, that is revisionist left-wing horseshit, and there is no shortage for support of this position. What? <laughs> so, remember, my, my original question was, if nationalism wasn't a cause for World War I, why does every major historian disagree with you? You are saying that major historians 
that you have cited and you agree with that nationalism was a cause of World War I, only then to say that citing nationalism as a cause is, and I quote, is revisionist left-wing horseshit. And then you go on to uh, cite another source from someone else called Did Nationalism Called World War One? <laughs> I cannot write this. I cannot write this. This is this is pure historical comedy. And I and then he goes on to say this. Your history teacher is not a history expert. <laughs> um, every single history teacher I ever had was a history expert. They all had degrees in history. Some of them even had a doctorate in history. So, um, if... <laughs> What does that make them then? <laughs> you know? Oh. So, uh, here he continues. So, your history teacher is not a history expert, or even, for that matter, an accredited historian. <laughs> it's academia that rewrote the narrative on nationalism causing World War I, not historians. <laughs> so historians are not part of academia they are not the ones in academic circles who are in charge of writing and studying history who does this guy think teaches history and <laughs> I I am shocked how dumb you are because your response makes no sense. You make a video called Nash No, Nationalism Did Not Cause World War I and then say the reason World War I happened was alliances. I then responded that if nationalism did not cause World War I, why do uh, why does pretty much every major historian disagree with you? You then respond with, I'm just denying that, that completely that first argument because it makes no sense. You then go on to say that it was because of leftist academia. I then respond to you that no historian agrees with you. You then cite two sources that agree with my position that nationalism was an absolutely contributing factor to World War I. You then go on to say that this is apparently revisionist history with no sources and that it is left-wing horseshit. You then say 